CS9600. Acquire 3D Object Images Recorded Class. This recorded class is designed for all team members. It provides instruction on acquiring 3D object images using the CS9600 unit. The 3D dental objects are plaster models, impressions, triple tray impressions, and appliances. To prepare the unit for acquisition, first insert the 3D bite block support into the chin rest base. Then place the dental impression holder on the 3D bite block support. Next, place the black foam on the dental impression holder. Acquire a plaster object. Click to launch the plaster object acquisition. Select lower jaw, upper jaw, or full jaw mode. See the on-screen illustration on how to position the lower jaw, upper jaw, or full jaw plaster at the center of the black foam. To acquire the bite index, select the bite index acquisition mode. Launch the x-ray with the remote control. Press and hold the exposure button until the end of the acquisition is indicated by the on-screen release switch message. When the acquisition ends, the acquired image appears on your screen. Repeat this process for each object. Acquire an impression object. Click to launch the impression acquisition. Select either the lower jaw or upper jaw acquisition mode. See the on-screen illustration on how to position the impression at the center of the black foam. To acquire the bite index, select the bite index acquisition mode. Launch the x-ray with the remote control. Press and hold the exposure button until the end of the acquisition is indicated by the on-screen release switch message. When the acquisition ends, the acquired image appears on your screen. Repeat this process for each object. Acquire triple tray impression objects. Click to launch the triple tray acquisition. Important! Make sure that the triple tray impression is dry. The triple tray impression must be flat and level when you position it on the black foam. If it is not, use a scalpel to cut and level it. You must place the triple tray impression on the black foam in the same orientation as when you take it out of the patient's mouth. Select the triple tray impression acquisition mode. See the on-screen illustration on how to position impressions at the center of the black foam. For posterior restorations, place impressions with the mesial surface at the front end of the black foam. For anterior restorations, place impressions with the arch at the front end of the black foam. Launch the x-ray with the remote control. Press and hold the exposure button until the end of the acquisition is indicated by the on-screen release switch message. When the acquisition ends, the acquired image appears on your screen. Repeat this process for each object. Acquire Appliance Objects Click to launch the appliance acquisition. Select either the lower jaw or upper jaw acquisition mode. See the on-screen illustration on how to position the appliance at the center of the black foam. Important! Place the teeth of the appliance on the black foam in the same orientation as when you remove it from the patient's mouth. Launch the x-ray with the remote control. Press and hold the exposure button until the end of the acquisition is indicated by the on-screen release switch message. When the acquisition ends, the acquired image appears on your screen. Repeat this process for each object.
This concludes the CS9600 Acquire 3D Object Images recorded class.